There's an old saying, necessity is the mother of invention and it really applies now to parts of isolated Hawke's Bay. Nick Truebridge got a closer look at the enormity of the clean-up job in Rissington and how locals are coping. Isolation encourages innovation and this is what they've come up with in Rissington. There's our old bridge, it used to be up here. The locals lost their bridge, rebuilt their own, but are now dismantling it as the rain sets in again. Um, they've just had to break it open a bit so uh, we can release the water. And uh, so it's just real important that um, we get that word out there because we don't want anyone coming down and, and, and thinking that they can get across and, and uh, you know, putting people's lives at risk. And then there's this, a new and improved pulley system set high above the river to withstand the rain to come. On the other side, those still cut off, gratefully unload. Just 91 fuel to get to the other side to the generators mainly, because the guys on the other side of the river are going through about 1,300 litres of fuel a day. Practicality in the face of adversity. It's a silage feeder, so um, yeah, do what you've got to do in these situations. But there's a long, long road ahead. Well, no, I wouldn't say under control by any stretch, and I think the biggest thing is um, you know, you know, real emergency access routes have been cleared, but you know, um, we're a long way from uh, you know being clean and clear here. The two things they need most are power and access before attention turns to the future of this place. We're all scratching our head as to what to do and um, having to rethink kind of what it might be like after this, because there's a whole lot of areas that won't. We'll have to start building on top of what's there now, not. Um, not actually taking it back to what, what, what was there before. Determined to stay, but make no mistake, this is a region changed forever. Nick Trubridge, News Hub.